Hey, Dr. Whoa, whoa, whoa. D, look what I brought you. Terrific. Looks like you brought something from my terrarium. Yeah, Ranger Cortez from Sandy Bottom Park said you would like them. Thank you. My terraria is coming along pretty good. I'm being very careful to only put plants in that only require the same conditions. Can you tell us more about how a terrarium works? Sure, my sealed terrarium must be self-sufficient. The only thing that can come into the terrarium is light. We already learned that light is a basic need of plants. Water is recycled in a terrarium. Plants give off water, which collects on the plastic, runs down the side into the soil, where it's collected by the roots and recycled. Wow, that's pretty neat. We already talked about how the plants basically just carbon dioxide. Plants consume carbon dioxide and produce oxygen. But what replaces the carbon dioxide so the plants don't die? Well, animals breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide, but obviously there aren't any animals in there. That's true, but there are decomposers in the soil, like bacteria and fungi. They also consume carbon dioxide and produce oxygen. They also break down dead materials and produce the nutrients that the plants need. It looks like everything gets recycled. Turns out that plants use some oxygen to produce the energy they need and give off carbon dioxide in the process. This is called respiration. Fortunately, plants produce much more oxygen than they consume. I'm glad about that. There's a lot going on in that terrarium. It would be great if we could make our Mars habitat as self-sufficient as your terrarium. Yeah, just add sunlight. We've got to get going. We've got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Bye, Bye Dr. D. D. Bye.